It started out as a family recipe, a staple at the dinner table, a hybrid barbecue hot sauce made by mom, enjoyed by the family. But when mom's daughter Jennifer Taylor grew up and started to host dinners for friends of her own, nothing would be the same. Everybody just kept coming. Mom would make me jars. I'd get her to make me these big jars, like big, big pickle jars full. And it wouldn't even last me a week because my friends would always come over and they would just pour it on. Her friends would always ask her where she got it from. So she'd say, well, it's mum's sauce. So anytime they came over, they kept saying, can we have some mum's sauce? Fast forward through government paperwork and business licenses, and in April 2011, Mum's Okanagan Hot Sauce was born. The over 30-year-old family recipe was now officially in production. And though the launch was successful, like any business, there have been challenges. Materials like caps and bottles were hard to come by, and outsourcing their bottling and packaging early on cost them hundreds of orders. We had a lot of issues on how they were making the sauce, filling the bottles. So we ended up um, removing that and going back to doing it ourselves. Um, figure the best way you're going to get your product done the way you want is do it yourself. And so far it's worked. Mum's hot sauce has expanded throughout Western Canada and is in high demand. But for Mum, she hopes it's only the beginning. It'd be nice to see Mum get Canada wide and not just you know, right now we're mainly at BC, a couple of spots in Alberta, but um, with popularity, we'd like to see it go all the way. <laughs> I wanted to take part in a typical production day, and I quickly found out that the name Mum's Hot Sauce couldn't be more accurate. There's no line of factory employees, it's just Mum, along with her daughter, making hot sauce. Like Walter White, except. <laughs> Instead of blue crystal and making uh, hot sauce. <laughs> so on goes the surgical mask, in goes the secret ingredients, which includes three different types of cayenne pepper. And then it was time to stir. Now despite being one of the more popular hot sauces in the region, the operation remains tiny. In fact, this batch was made in the kitchen at the Vernon Yacht Club a makeshift location until they find something permanent. Welcome to Mum's Temporary Kitchen. Here we go. Yeah. It's ready to be bottled. Right. Okay. And this is old school. This is, I mean, there's no conveyor belt. There's no, <laughs> no this no, isn't factory. This is like pre-industrial revolution. <laughs> That's right. So, uh, <laughs> back, back to the way it was. The MacGyver way of sealing some hot sauce. So there you have it, Mum's hot sauce. That's darn hot. So we just made darn hot Mum's hot sauce. Right. Okay. Perfect. From Vernon for Go Okanagan. I'm Kevin Shirak.